some coins to make those new beastly pickups head on over to go buy mmo.com and use code zerk for a five percent discount on your order get those coins get those players what is going on guys it is zerks from today with another youtube video today we have not only an NAT Team of the Year pack, but we also have an NAT Team of the Year Rookie Standout. Now, we're going to have the Rookie Standout one first, but last week when it came to the defensive Rookie Standout, honestly, there was only one guy that you really wanted to get, and of course, that was going to be the cornerback from the Bills, which I cannot seem to think of his name right now, but let's go by 92 93. And I'm sure that he will pop up. Tredavious White was really the only guy you wanted to get. Now, when it comes to the offense, it's actually not too bad. There's actually quite a bit of people I'd love to get from this. So, first off, we're going to go with a 90 overall that I absolutely would love to get. And there's only one 90 overall, I think. There's actually two. So, really, there's about four players I would not mind getting from this pack at all. So, the first card we're going to look at is going to be Juju Smith-Schuster. And basically the reason why I don't want to get him is going to be the 92 speed, the 79 strength, the 95 acceleration, and also the amazing run block of a 78. So if I pull Juju Smith-Schuster, he will probably go in the fourth wide receiver spot, but I'll probably sub him in quite a bit because that run blocking is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure it's the best of my team by far. And plus the 92 speed is probably one of the fastest cards on my team. And then also we have the right tackle, Ryan Ramchek, who's only going for 87,000 coins, but he's a 9 overall. And right now I don't have a right tackle. So for Ryan Ramchek, that would definitely be a starter on my team for at least a little bit. So 89 strength, 89 run block, 93 pass block, 9 run impact with a 65 speed and a 75 agility. I would definitely take that rookie standout right there. Now on to the 92 and 93s. Surprisingly, I kind of don't even want to get the best card quote unquote best card which would be this alvin kamara if we take a look at his stats i mean comparing to ladini tomlinson he doesn't really match up i mean ezekiel elliott he would probably be my second running back which isn't too bad but still i want to pull a starter out of this pack so 92 speed 93 agility 95 excel 90 carry 90 spin 91 looseness with a 77 trucking also a 91 juke but of course he does have very good catching stats he has a catching of a 87 which is definitely way than zeke so he could be a third down running back for me and he also has a route running of an 88 with a stamina of i think i went right past the stamina to be honest with you guys and it's a 90 so not too bad i mean he would definitely start over zeke he wouldn't start over the Damian thomason but he would be a good second running back for me but the guy i absolutely want to get is evan ingram take a look at that speed and run block combination on him 91 speed 77 run block also has a 92 catch 87 release 92 route running 88 catching traffic and a 92 spec catch so there's four cards that i would absolutely love to get out of this pack if we can just get one of those and not get like an 83 overall i would definitely be very happy so let's get into this rookie standout pack hopefully pull either evan ingram uh um uh, why can't i think of the name alvin kamara or juju or even ryan ram check let's get any four of those EA, please. Ah. We missed the mark by this much. So, oh man, that really sucks. So, unfortunately, I actually already have two NAT left guards that are better. So, this 89 overall Dan Feeney is not going to start for me even a little bit. So, unfortunately, this is probably one of the worst pulls. But I can just throw him into an elite token or the offensive team of the year set. So, I guess... That's not the absolute worst thing. Then we have the team of the year offensive pack. And I'll tell you guys this. There's only about two people that I actually do not want to pull to this. Now, most people would probably say only one guy they don't want to pull. For me, it's two. And I'm going to show you guys why. So, of course, we sort by all offense. We're going to go through the 93 to 94 rolls first. Or the 94 to 95s. And I'll show you guys why I don't want to pull these two people. So, of course, the first guy we don't want to pull is going to be James Devlin. Nobody wants to pull this James Devlin. I mean, it's a fullback. Only a 71 speed, of course. It's a very good fullback. But you really don't want to spend all this time playing the solo challenge to get a dang fullback. Especially with me. I don't run a lot with my fullback, and I don't use him. 
a ton. Now, when it comes to, you know, Joe Staley, we'll compare him to Donald Penn or Alejandro going away, but he's definitely better. So I'm not going to be mad if I ended up pulling Joe Staley. I mean, I, honestly, any offensive lineman, I'm not going to be mad with Joel Batonio. I do have two NAT, 91 overall left guards, but as you guys can see, he's definitely better than them. And he also has lead the way chemistry, so I'll definitely take him as well. Now, when it comes to cards I actually really, really want to get, I definitely would not mind getting this Lane Johnson, 94 overall right tackle. Take a look at the stats, 94 run block, pass block, and impact. Also has an 82 speed, which is ridiculous, and he also has secure pass blocker and move the sticks, which move the sticks is actually the chemistry that I use for my team. Gronkowski, definitely would love to use him. 83 speed, 91 catching, 95 catching draft, 91 spec catch would definitely be my starting tight end for the rest of the year now. This is the other card I don't want to get, which is Le'Veon Bell. Now, compared to Danny Tomlinson, he does look better, but you guys have to remember that we are going to be getting another upgrade for Le'Veon Tomlinson at some point this year. So, if I did pull Le'Veon Bell, of course, I would use him for now, but as soon as, you know, the new Le'Veon Tomlinson comes out, Le'Veon Bell would go down to my backup, and I really like Zeke a backup just because I'm a Cowboys fan, I don't want to get rid of him, and of course, he's NAT for me, so I can't really do much with him besides just keeping my item binder or throw him in elite token sets, so if I did pull Le'Veon Bell, obviously not going to be super mad, it's Le'Veon freaking Bell, the card is amazing. But the fact is, I'm not going to be using him for long. Then we have Zach Martin, who has 97 run block. That is absolutely crazy for a right guard. 72 speed, 94 awareness, 93 impact block. Also lead the way chemistry. DeAndre Hopkins, 92 speed, 95 spec catch, 95 release. Basically, any card that I pull will probably be a starter for the rest of the year for me. And we also have, of course, the 96 to 97. It's definitely not the 98 to 99. Now, these would be the absolute best cards that I'd pull. Without a doubt, would start for me for the entire year. Jason Kelsey, 95 run block, 97 impact block, and a 92 pass block. Then, of course, we have Antonio Brown, who has himself a 93 speed, 96 catch, 92 release, 97 round running. And then if we pull Carson Wentz, he will probably be my starting quarterback for the rest of the year. No doubt about it. 83 speed, 89 awareness within 92 throw power, 95 short, 92 medium, 89 deep, 87 play action, and a 90 throw on the run with an 87 acceleration and conductor chemistry. So definitely very excited to see what we're going to pull to this. Honestly, just anyone besides the fullback, and I'll be pretty happy. Unfortunately for us, we didn't get what we wanted out of the rookie standout pack, so hopefully EA you can kind of bless this pack just a little bit so if we can get ourselves antonio brown carson wentz if we can even pull you know zach martin uh deandre hopkins i guess i'll take Le'Veon bell or gronkowski just anyone except for james devlin if we pull james devlin i'm gonna be quite upset but let's get into this pack so we're gonna get i'm gonna give you guys three seconds coming down below who do you think we're gonna pull this pack so three two one and let's get into it who are we gonna get yes zach martin 95 roll zach martin that is definitely a very good pull 97 run block 91 pass block with a 93 impact and a 72 speed that is actually kind of one of the better pulls, one of the best pulls, and it'll probably be my starter for the rest of the year. But 93 strength, 97 run block, 91, run, 91 pass block, 93 impact block, and a 72 speed. Definitely not mad at that. Let's actually see what he goes to when I throw him in my lineup. Not too sure what chemistries I have activated right now. I'm not sure if he's actually going to get any sort of a boost. We can definitely check it out and see what he goes up to. So he has pound the rock times two. And he goes up to a 96 overall, so it's actually a very, very good pull. And he has 98 run block now, oh my god. And that's a new chemistry would lead the way. So that, I do believe, players more likely to succeed when pull or lead blocking. So we got 96 Zach Martin, now has 98 run block. And I'm going to try to maybe max out his chemistry. I think I can actually put somebody there left guard. I actually already have somebody there left guard, so I believe that that chemistry where is it pound the rock tier two we'll give him another truck so if we get it to tier three we actually have 99 run bucks that'd be definitely crazy but definitely a very good pull that we get out of that pack zach martin not too mad at that i mean that does secure our right guard spot for basically the rest of the year but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure 
hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, and let me know down below what you guys pulled out of your team leader pack and also your rookie standout. Unfortunately, didn't pull anything good from the rookie standout, but definitely got something good from the team of the year pack. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.